Cockpits. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Karan and today in this video, we will talk about World Manufacturer Identifier Code. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration contracts SAE International to assign the World Manufacturer Identifier Code of the VIN, that is Vehicle Identification Number. The WMI is always the first three digits of a vehicle identification number. The first digit indicates the final point of vehicle assembly or the country of origin. The second digit tells the manufacturer and the location of production and the third digit is combined with the first two digits to know the manufacturing division or vehicle type. In India, such type of code is given to the Indian automotive manufacturers for their global identifier by the BIS, that is Bureau of Indian Standards, which is a member of the International Organization for Standardization. The International Relations and Technical Information Services Department of the BIS provides the service of assigning WMI code to Indian automobile manufacturers in association with the Society of Automotive Engineers and the international agency responsible for the maintenance of WMI code. Now let's discuss the meaning of VIN. VIN or Vehicle Identification Number, also known as Chasis Number or Frame Number and it is a unique serial number used by the automotive industry to identify individual to know individual motor vehicles. The VIN number consists of a unique series of 17 numbers and capital letters and each digit provides specific information about the vehicle such as manufacturer, year, model, engine size, etc. The 17 characteristics of the VIN can be categorized into three sections. Number one is WMI. The first three characters of VIN is a World Manufacturer Identifier Code, which is uniquely identifies the motor vehicle's manufacturer. This code is assigned to the manufacturer of the vehicle in order to allow the identifier of the proposed manufacturer and when used in conjunction with the remaining section of the vehicle identification number. Ensure uniqueness of the VIN of all vehicles manufactured for a time period of 30 years. Second is Vehicle Descriptor section. It provides details describing the general attributes of the vehicle. This section consists of six characters. If the manufacturer doesn't use one or more these character spaces and the spaces not used shall be filed by the numeric or alphabetical characters of the manufacturer's choice. The sequence and coding in the VDS section is determined by the manufacturer. Now the third is Vehicle Indicator section. This section is the last section of the VIN and it consists of eight characters. The last four shall be numeric. If the manufacturer chooses to designate a year and or plant in VDS, it is recommended that the year should be indicated by the first character and the plant of manufacture by the second character. Vehicle identification number is now based on two standards. Number one is ISO 3779 and second is ISO 3780. So the first question is why is WMI code important? This code is vital because it establishes and identifies content and structure to ensure the global identification of road vehicle manufacturers. And the second question is who is a manufacturer as per the WMI and VIN guideline? A manufacturer can be a sole proprietor firm or a corporation under whose supervision is a vehicle is assembled or manufactured as a complete product which is ready to be operated on the road. It is the responsibility of the manufacturer who is required to register and acquire the VIN serial number. The customer of such a manufacturer has no role or liability in it. Now I will tell you some vital documents required for WMI code registration. Number one is name and address of the firm and the location of manufacturing unit. Second is the application must be duly signed by one of the partners or directors or proprietor as the case may be. Third is self-certified copy of GST certificate. Fourth one is self-certified copy of certificate of incorporation. Fourth one is memorandum of association and articles of association or partnership deed. Fifth one is self-certified copy of the Udyam registration certificate issued by MSME. Sixth is self-certified copy of other required documents if any. Seventh is any address proof. Eighth one is product category or code for which WMI code is desired. Ninth one is the currently used coding system details. Tenth one is proposed production commencement date or month. Now let's discuss the procedure for WMI code registration. 
Step 1 is submission of the application. First, our Cobbiz experts will prepare all the documentation and file the application for registration on your behalf and submit it to the BIS. Then the second step is verification. After submission, the BIS officials will verify the documents and application check whether all the documents are received or not. Third step is proposal of WMI. This code as per the series entry of the same in the BIS database. Fourth step is registration with SAE International USA. Then the VMI code is assigned by the SAE that is Society of Automotive Engineer. Fifth step is confirmation letter. Then you will get a confirmation letter and the WMI code after registering with SAE International. And the last step is issuance of WMI code. After that, you will get WMI code to get detailed information about WMI code procedure for automobiles and make the business hassle-free, contact Corbis. Our experts will help the client to get license and certification under the various schemes under the government of India. So visit Corbis to learn more about WMI code registration process. Thank you so much.